So today I'd like to talk about uh, moving paperwork. I know we had started a series on that um, prior, and um, there's a couple things I want to clarify. I know that there's something called a, a quote or an estimate, a bill of lading in order for service. Mm -hmm. And for first-time movers or people that are moving for the fir very first time using a moving company, it might be a little confusing. Could you explain the process and what those mean? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's definitely very confusing. One of the reasons why we have a lot of paperwork is we are licensed New York State or whatever state you might be in, licensed movers. And based on that, we have uh, governing procedures that we have to follow. So... Where we're located in New York, there's three things that you're going to get. You're immediately going to get either what they call an estimate or a quote. And that would be when you request somebody to come to your home and tell you what the price would be. An estimate by nature is going to be that is that a guesstimate, the, a probability of what it'll be at the end. Typically, that would be an hourly rate, or that would be, if you're going out of state, it would be based on actual weight. The next you would get would be a guaranteed quote, and that's going to be based on volume, and it's going to be the price is the price. Quote equals you know a steadfast price. Where it starts to get confusing after that is once you decide that you want to book in with any specific mover, um, what we have to do by law is send you what we call an order for service. And an order for service is basically us connecting to you for your specific move date. So for instance, you're moving on June 1st, you've gotten a quote in um, April, and you say, okay, we're going to move forward with you. We would send you then an order for service. You would sign it. And basically what you're signing is the price that we originally gave you on either the quote or the estimate. Uh, the dates that you're going to be picked up, and any other kind of information, insurance and stuff like that. That's so that you know we're going to show up on the day of the move. Uh, then once we get to, the, to your house on the day of the move, then we would have what we call an, uh, a bill of lading, which is the actual amount we're going to charge you, and it's basically for that day. So, I mean, so a, a quote and an order for service are typically two, two pieces of paper. But they can be one. They can be one. They're, they are, if you're getting an hourly rate or a weight ratio quote uh, estimate, it's two pieces of paper. If you're getting a guaranteed quote, it can be one. Because a guaranteed quote also mimics an order for service. All you have to do is sign the bottom of the quote. But we have an example of that here. Yeah. I mean, with, for us specifically, we do guaranteed quoting. So it is a guaranteed quote slash order for service. So we give you all your inventory that you're going to move specifically. Um, all the red information is basically what we're going to do. Uh, for that pricing, and then of course at the bottom, I don't know if this is a, oh it is, it's a completed one, and then your total price. So that would be both, and once you sign here, it basically binds me into moving, or binds any moving company that does that, into moving you on the specific day for that specific price. What, is, you, what does the bill of lading look like? Uh, bill of lading two ways, is if our bill of lading and any guaranteed quote bill of lading is the same thing, as it comes with your addresses, where you're going to go, to and from, the amount of stuff that we would pack, and then your total pricing here on the bottom. And then that's your price you pay. So at the end of the day, you just sign uh, at the end of that. So if you were going to do something on a weight ratio, or a, typically you'd see this form. This would be for um, weight or for hours. And it's a little bit more convoluted because it's done by the state. But your time in, your time out, how many hours we worked, and then the total at the bottom. That's that That's that one. This I would, would not suggest that one. That's not, <laughs> that usually doesn't work out that good because it is by the hour or by weight. So it's a fluctuating number. Uh, at the end of the day, you won't know exactly what you pay.